talk show short, short interview. interview with community artists and entrepreneurs today we have angel cosme on the platform angel welcome welcome Hi. Angel. <laughs> thank you so much nice thank you for having you. me a pleasure to be here wonderful tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do in the community sure my name is um angel cosme and uh, i'm a father of a 11 year old i teach history at a recovery high school called independence academy here in brockton one of only four recovery high schools in Massachusetts who help students with uh, addictions, overcome their addictions, as well as um, finish their high school uh, degrees. That's awesome. What a remarkable job. It is. It is. It's uh, the, the, you know, the students need those kind of supports, and uh, I'm proud to be uh, working in, in, in that school. I believe it. Now, what are some of the challenges you have faced in that field? Uh, the biggest challenge, I think, is... Um, you know, working with a population who suffers from addictions um, and everything else that that brings, you know, the, the low socioeconomic status, um, you know, the multiple problems that uh, our teenagers face, and it's not just addictions, it's tough being a young person. Um, so you combine all those factors and you add in the academics and, the, and the, uh, you know, the teenagers have issues with that, but our school supports them. And that's why it's important to promote more recovery schools uh, in Massachusetts for that very reason. And what is the age group? Uh, grades 9 through 12. Good. Yes. Now, you that's have that's a great event coming up. Yes, I do. Community. You want to share? Absolutely. Um, so I volunteer with uh, Brockton Interfaith Community, and uh, BIC is promoting a community awareness event tomorrow, April 30th at 7 p.m. at Our Lady of Lords, which is across the street from CVS and the Dunkin' Donuts or the uh, Price Right uh, Plaza. And uh, it's at 7 p.m. We're showing a movie called Anonymous People wow. about people in recovery. It's a documentary basically showing that individuals with substance abuse can indeed overcome their addictions. And I think far too often um, people with addictions are stigmatized. And this is a movie that shows that indeed people can overcome their addictions and that evidence-based supports are available. That's awesome. Now, Angel, what is your story? Usually there's a story. There's a, there's a story behind the drive and the passion that causes us to do what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. What's your story? Uh, in a nutshell, I, I have made many, many mistakes in my life. Um, and I've, throughout the years, I've uh, been working on myself. I went back to school and I got my uh, bachelor's and then my master's in education. Um, I had a, a family, I bought a house. But through that all, there's been a lot of bumps in the road. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I attribute a lot of my uh, success to family and friends and, um, you know, my, my, um, support system uh, but I think what drives me to to do what I'm doing today is just a love for humanity and a love for social justice and um, you know spirituality knowing that we are all equal and that um, everyone has the same worth and that we should be fighting uh, for unity and uh, equality in this country and in the world and so that sort of keeps me going and uh, active in the community that is remarkable awesome. absolutely remarkable what do you know for sure angel mm -hmm. i know for sure that there are good people in the world mm -hmm. um, who want to do good and there are plenty of good people here in brockton the helping to unite brockton cleanup crew is a testament to that uh, brockton interfaith community is a testament to that and all those unsung heroes in, in brockton who do what they do without any affiliation uh, but out of the con kindness of their heart and so um, i know that that good exists and, and good is way more powerful than any evil or any uh you know um other force that's out there Thank you so much, Angel, for being an inspiration. Thank you for having me. Thank you Glad so to much. Be here. We wish Thank you the you. best. Thank yes. you for the best. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brockton, for watching. You just watched Brockton 
EAEL Media Talk Show, and we just watched Angel, and he shared amazing, amazing stories that are happening in his life, and he's inviting us to a great show tomorrow. You look on the screen, you will see all the information that you will need to be able to support this vision, this That's great right. vision. Amazing work and you're we, doing here. Thank you. Amazing. Thank this you. Amazing. It, it's, uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of people behind this, um, so it's in no way any... any um, so, uh, John Messia, who's the chair of the Brockton Interfaith Public Safety Committee. Thank you, John. Uh, thank, thank you, John. <laughs> Richard Melillo, who thank is you. the principal Richard. at Independence thank you, Academy. Thank, thank you, Richard. Um, thank you. Jacob Milton and the cleanup crew, absolutely. Um, thank you. And, I mean, I could go on. There's so many people, and forgive me for not naming you, but you know who you are, and ultimately, God knows who you are. Amen. Thank you very much <laughs> for watching the EAL Media. Thank you, and bye-bye.